Okay, ladies, so this is what every man desires in a woman. These traits are what will drive him crazy. He will do anything to have a woman that have these traits, okay? These traits are so irresistible, they're so desirable that he is going to adore you if you have these five traits. So in this video, I want to not only tell you what they are, but I want to teach you how to actually embrace that and embody those traits because that is really the key to his heart. So stay tuned. Lillian and I'm a dating and relationship coach and I help single women succeed in love. So if you are a single woman seeking love, you are the right So without further ado, I want to give you these five traits, these five qualities that if you have them, if you're able to cultivate them, if you're able to embrace them, if you're able to embody them, any guy is going to just fall in love with you. Any guy is going to be chasing after you because having these five traits are so desirable. They are the five things that men just like melt over. So the first one that I want to share with you is having feminine energy, being able to you know, show your feminine energy, being able to embrace that feminine energy in you, being able to really um, lean into your feminine energy, especially around them, right? Because when we are at work, when it comes to our business, when it comes to our career, we are always in our very masculine energy. So we are always doing shit. We are always in action. We are always trying to move things forward we're always trying to like figure out how to move the needle and so we are very much in our masculine energy but it is harder to be in the more feminine energy for us especially now the modern woman has a very hard time leaning into her feminine energy because we have to be leaning more into our masculine energy just because how society works right so what I mean with feminine energy is more about like the nurturing side, the caring side, the sweet side of you, the, you know, the one that um, really connects with them emotionally. And so once you are able to really learn how to lean into your feminine energy and how to like embrace it fully with him, he is going to go crazy over you. I'm actually going to do a video on, on feminine energy and talk about it some more because I think it's such a good topic. It's something that we don't tend to talk about as much and it's a very powerful one, especially when it comes to our relationships and especially when it comes to us as women being able to have and cultivate a beautiful relationship with our men. This is the way to go. So that's number one. So second one is... Uh, Oh, I love this one. You know how to make him feel like a hero. Okay, so if you know how to make your guy feel like a hero, oh, he is going to melt over you, okay? That is something that every man biologically wishes his woman is able to do. And this is because we're all human beings. There's a primal side, right? Guys like to chase. They like to be like, you know, the ones that take care of you and like, you know, be there for you, be the provider. Be, like nowadays, obviously, they're not the only the breadwinners, but they want to be the ones that take care of you somehow. So being able to allow him to do that for you is going to make him feel like the man that he is. So this is especially if you're dating a very masculine energy man and we, we can go back to like you know your feminine energy and really leaning into that so this has a lot to do with it so being able to you know allow him to be the hero in your life okay so knowing how to bring that hero in him is to do with you know making him feel wanted making him feel like he is superman in your life you know you may not need him to do something you're able to do it yourself but asking him to help you out 
especially when it comes to either like something physical or you have something that you want to build, I don't know, furniture from Ikea or something like that that he can help you with. Okay, that is bringing him to be that hero in your life. You know, even though you may not need it or may not need him to do those things for you, allow him to do those things for you. And I know right now, like, uh, we feel like, no, we're like the, you know, we are super women, we can do it all and so on and blah, blah, blah. But that is not what will get him to his heart. What will get you to his heart is allowing him to be that hero for you. Okay. So number three, okay, number three is really like, this is like super easy for you guys to do. Have fun, have a sense of adventure. You know, nobody wants to be with someone who's boring. Nobody wants to be with someone who is, you know, sad all the time. Uh, we all obviously have our moments, but nobody wants to be with someone who's depressed uh, all the time, who can't seem to enjoy the moment, can't seem to loosen up can't seem to really, you know, have that sense of adventure and want to try thing, new things and um, everybody loves people who are like that, who are so fun to be around, who are so joyful, who are so positive, who have this like beautiful mindset where you're like, my gosh, I love your energy, you know? And so that is who you want to be. You want to be the fun, loving person that's, you know, have, have a sense of adventure and when he's with you, you have that, you bring something, you bring that beautiful energy with you and oh my god, he's, he's gonna love that, okay? So the fourth one, and I think this is something that we all, it's not just women, but we all need to really feel, feel confident in our own skin, you know? Having that sexy confident in a woman is such a turn on, you know? It doesn't matter what you look like, honestly it doesn't. You can be, you know, overweight, you can be very slim, uh, you can have big boobs, you can have small boobs, you can have a big ass, it doesn't matter. If you bring a sense of, you know, confidence, if you're fully confident in yourself and who you are as a person, you're gonna be freaking sexy to him. So confidence is like such a turn on and people love people that are confident so obviously guys love that guys love that you are confident in yourself so if you are always complaining about your weight you're always complaining about you know how you look or you know you feel so like you know your self-esteem is low that's a turn off so you know become fully confident in you know in yourself become fully confident in who you are and embrace you know the beautiful body that you have and embrace the beautiful self that you are Okay, so oh, the last one. This is so good. The last one is be a good listener. Okay, a lot of times what happens is, you know, we love to talk. I find women love to talk and they, we talk a lot. And sometimes we just don't allow our men to talk. We don't allow him to really express himself. And for a lot of men, they don't, they don't talk much or when they do want to express their feelings, it's really hard for them. So if you are a good listener, if you're really, you know, there for him, he is going to, you know, love you for it. So become a good listener. Listen to, to what he is really saying, you know, hear him out. Be present, be there for him and you'll see how those like you know all these things that i'm saying you can really embody them you can really embrace them they're not um you know so out there that you will never be this person right so they're easy but they're so powerful and if you want to win his heart if you want to win any guy's you know heart this is the way to go so there you have it the five traits that men find it irresistible so i'm gonna just go over them so the first one feminine energy and learn how to embrace your feminine energy second one is know how to bring the hero in him know how to bring it out third one is fun have a fun and sense of humor fourth is confidence confidence is sexy number five be a good listener okay so there you go you've got five of them and now you can um you know, really embrace them, look at yourself, be completely honest. Is there anything that you may need to work on? 
for me, it has always been the feminine energy. Um, it's hard for me and I've been able to, over time, embrace more of my feminine energy and really lean into it. It has taken me many years to figure that out, but I have finally figured it out. So if you guys are interested in learning more about how to embrace your feminine energy and how to lean into that, um, let me know because I'm going to be bringing some videos for you. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to like it below and subscribe to my channel. There is also a freebie, is a five-day series on how to become an online dating queen. And I go over everything, everything to do with your profile, to your pictures, to what to ask him, everything you need to know about online dating. So check that out. Okay, till the next one. Bye.